everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 Career for Race 27, Pasta 2836, Season 3 of the Career. We're going to New Hampshire. And as you see on the screen right now, um, another throwback. Um, I plan on for the rest of the season, almost for the rest of the season, run some throwback schemes I ran in, the, in career mode of NASCAR Thunder 2004. For the last race, I plan on doing a throwback to NASCAR Thunder 2003 also. So, um, anyway, uh, for this one. Uh, we're throwing it back to the Season 2 primary, which is the, when the number was silver. So that's the throwback scheme for this one. Um, so we're going to New Hampshire, and this is where I, and believe it or not, I won with this car at New Hampshire. So it's amazing how, how, how that fits. But anyway, we got a big point lead. Uh, Ricky Run is still a mean guy. As far as two is concerned, uh, one more race for the driver sponsor. And I think all the sponsors are going to stay for the rest of the season. It looks like they are. Yeah, they are. So most, they're, they're going to stay for the rest of the season. As far as the garage is concerned, uh, everything's going to be overhauled for two races. And uh, the new upgrade came in, so we're going to build a new bite. I'll come in three races. And I'll, like I said, that'll be our last upgrade of the career mode. So uh, after this, we're not getting any more upgrades because they'll take basically the rest of the season, and I'm not going to wait that long. So, anyway, without further ado, um, let's just jump into this race. Um, I'm probably going to use. I kind of want to use the. I don't fuck, I want to use the same stuff for this because the only good track we have coming up is Talladega, and I think that's the next part, so. And most of the stuff is going to be overhauled, so we used the best stuff we got. A car in a 75 again. Let's jump into the Magic Mile. Alright, so here's car 70 for the race today again. Pretty much the same set to be used last set. Uh, the AI are pretty much pretty exciting here, so. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Um, suspension. There it is. And there it is. Alright, so. Gonna do some slaps real quick, and uh, we'll jump into qualifying. Best one too, but let's for us all three and four. That is a good lap. Oh, that's cool. Pole position! Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow, we got it by four tenths or three tenths. That was a good lap. I didn't think one and two was good, but maybe we, we got the pull nonetheless. And Ricky Brown started fifth, so not bad at all. But anyways, let's head into the Magic Mile. Welcome to New Hampshire International Speedway in Loudoun for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Sylvania 300. What can you tell us about Loudoun? Well, gear selection is everything here in New Hampshire. It's very important to be able to accelerate out of these tight corners. And the danger is picking too low of a gear and hitting the top end too early on the straights and blowing an engine. How about the consistency shown by the McDonald's car? Yeah, it really turns it up a notch when we come to this type of track. And these speedways can be very tricky to get the hang of. He seems to know them all like the back of his hand. I do. Jeff Burton made his NASCAR Winston Cup debut in New Hampshire in 1993. And since then, he's had quite a bit of success here. Well, he certainly has. He won a race here in four consecutive seasons starting back in 1997. And he led every single lap during that win in 2000. Now that's domination. Mm -hmm. Jerry Labonte can't seem to find the right setups for his qualifying runs this year. Man, does this make getting a win tough. He has to be careful not to beat up the car as aerodynamics have become so important at these speedway tracks. That's not easy to do when you have the whole field starting in front of you. <laughs> Alright, the top two in points are on the front row. Let's get rolling here at the Magic Mile. Not bad to get good acceleration off the corner, run as mad me, but gonna try to 
Hang on to this slit as long as we can. Hopefully we can nail this corners perfectly. It looks like we're going to lead the first slap. And lead the first slap. And let's relax for a bit. All right, hand down the back stretch. Going to pit this time. Ricky Russ in second place. Doing a good job holding them off for this run, but I've got to, hopefully the crew can give me a solid stop. I'm going to pit this time. Hopefully the crew can give me a solid stop. And here we go. So for a solid stop here. Not a bad stop. Slow, but okay. Doran, I had to, I let him go. Let's see, we were side by side, so I let him go. I don't know where Kurt's at, so we might have a battle again between Gordon and I. And man with the same car, it's season two. It was me and Jeff Gordon both times. I don't know who's gonna pit here. And remember, last time Mark Martin stopped in front of me. I don't know who's gonna pit, and Mark Martin decided to stop in front of me. Oh, I'm sorry, Mikey. Let's get some hot. Hot run off the corner! Oh. Try to get a hot run. And there's Tony. I believe that's Rudd. So, oh yeah, there's Ricky Rudd. So now Rudd's going to make things harder. Because now he's cycling out ahead of me. Up the third, though. Or virtual third. I am going to lead lap, though, so it is very important. But then again, I got to deal with Rudd, who Rudd is angry at me, so I got to deal with him. And let's relax. Oh, somebody's blown up up here. Oh, I'm gonna relax. And that is Terry Labonte who is blown up. And the leader's still staying out. At least not Mark Martin. Mark Martin's right in front of me and he pitted, so. Still by Rick Ruff, gone by Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr., so. So this could be food, this could be the battle for the win, and the win hasn't pit it yet. Oh, that was a bad turn one. Alright, looks like the lane might finally pit, so this could be the battle for the win. And it looks like the leader's gonna head down pit road. And I need Mark Martin. I think the leader pitted, so. So this could be the battle for the win. I think we have a part of it, so this is gonna be interesting last few laps, so and but I gotta deal with Rudd first and gonna cycle out in fourth. And it's me, Ricky Rudd, Kevin Harvick, and Tony Stewart about the win. Oh, I messed up turn one and Mark Martin also. I wanna get my run as cleanly as possible. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. Went way too deep. Ah, sorry, Rudd! My fault. Gonna go all the way to the apron and up to third. Possibly second on Harvick. He always stopped. Or pushed for the polygon into the wall up here. And we're up to second. Uh, hold on. We're up to second. Now I've got to run down Tony. Who's right up here in front of me. We're getting one exciting race. Uh, Let's get a good run off. Up to the app. Didn't get a good corner. We got five laps to go. Kevin Harvick's right behind me. I'm just trying to hang on. And I got Ricky right behind me. I'm going to drive with Tony to try to catch him. So there's a shared drive does help. And a lot of traffic is definitely going to play a factor. We're going to shift a little bit. Here we go, big roll off the corner, got in the back of Tony on accident. Because of that huge run I got off the corner. That's why I was really shift sometimes, you can get a huge run like I did. And 
I fucked up because of that huge run. All right, here we come again. They like to send into this corner, but I got a lot of traffic to help me. Not gonna shift. And we got the lead. Oh, hold on, not yet. We got it, all right. Let the most slap, so here comes Tony again on the high side. Gonna use the hot shift again. Got no one, oh, a little tight. I got it. Was it the prettiest corner, but I got it. It's gonna come back on the high side. But I got Rick and Brad behind me also. And I got Kevin Grove being a dick. Oh, two to go. Sorry, Tony, didn't mean to do that. I gotta do it with live traffic. The shift get great run off. That was hot. Got the lead and I'll take on to it. Got a lap and a half to go. Let's just, hang out. Let's just relax in this corner. And out the final corner, gonna see the white flag. Final lap in New Hampshire. Stretch and the turn three to the finish line. On the final corner, gonna sweep a new hamster. Yes. All right, beautiful. Not a single caution lap was run in the whole race. You know that's pretty amazing. It says a lot about the quality and true talent of these NASCAR Winston Cup drivers. The McDonald's car is the big winner in this one. And rightfully so. He was fast all race long. That whole team deserves a lot of credit for a great win. Yeah, I didn't know that I was going to win that, but uh, thankfully we did, so. Great battles we had there. The track is tough. Um, thankfully we won. It wasn't the prettiest pass on Tom, but we managed to do it, so. We managed to get it done, barely. And there's the victory. And to victory lane! Yes! That was possible, but at least we can run sign grant me anymore. So there's that. Uh, Seventy-one million dollars. I'm gonna be the richest man in the world. So, all right, uh, we led eighteen laps. We led all but twelve. Ricky Craven led five. Tony Stewart led four. Uh, Ricky Rod, Brian Newman, and Dale Jer led a lap. So there's that. So we gain more points. And we're gonna be kind of close to having bonus race time, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have bonus race time without a problem. All right, we got bonus race time, and as you see, uh, we're throwing it back to the first night scheme that we used. Because Dover, apparently, in this game, or in the Karimo, this, this is a glitch, but in the Karimo, it's a night race. So, I think it's a night race in the championship let's play also, but I didn't really check. So, anyways, um, here we are at Dover. Uh, we got no driver sponsor, so we're going to have to check that out real quick. So, all right, let's see what we got here. So, we got Georgia Power or Coca Cola participating in the race. Um, this has high prestige, but this has more money, so, uh, we'll go with McDonald's, why the hell not? I mean, our primary sponsor is McDonald's, so why the hell not, right? Might as well get Coke in the car, so we got McDonald's, might as well play on the car. Uh, the garage, one more race for everything to be overhauled, two more race for the engine to be built, so, I think that's the towel there, yeah. and, got to check. And, yep, next is Talladega, so, let me see, I have 21 wins, so if I win the next, 
a if I win a races, I break Richard Penny's um uh, record for most wins of the season, which is 27, 1967. So if I win a sex couple, I break his record. So anyway, uh, without further ado, I'm we're just gonna jump into this because oh wait, I don't want to quick select. Trying to put this thing back. Go, we're gonna use weaker stuff, so we're gonna use this one here. Um, we'll use this one, it's about the same. The bodies, that's the only one we got. And Jakarna 74. And remember, last time we were here, I won the race. Shockingly, but we won the race. So, we'll win here again. I don't know, we'll see. Here we are, here's the car set. And again, Dover is a night race in this game, and again, it's a glitch. So, here's the set we're gonna use. It's pretty much the same set that we used last time, so. And again, last time we were here, shockingly, I won, so. And this is not one of my best tracks. We'll see if today continues. So I'm going to do some practice laps. So we'll jump into qualifying. Well, i turn four. Good, solid lap. Let's see where it puts us. Probably a pull. Pull! Oh, hell yeah! There we go. Another one. That, that had to be close. And another good lap. Two tenths over Try Hard Jr. And... Right is nowhere to, I didn't know Ryan is nowhere to be found, so... Where, where is he? He's 19th. Alright. That's good for me. That was a good track, and last time we were here, I sh shocked myself that I won this race, but... And again, that doesn't mean I'm going to win here this time, so... We'll see if I can sweep Dover. The lights are on, and we're ready to bring you another NASCAR Winston Cup Series race from the Dover International Speedway here on MRN. Now, Barney, this is one of the tougher tracks that we come to. Why is that? Well, the name Monster Mile does say it all. It takes total concentration each and every lap. You'll see guys tagging the wall out of turn two and four all race long, and let me tell you, they'll feel it tomorrow morning. The McDonald's car will retain its sponsorship for another contract. And that shouldn't be much of a surprise to anyone. Their sponsors have really been happy with the results week in and week out. So, of course, they're going to re-sign a deal. Mm-hmm. Jeremy Mayfield experienced an up-and-down year in 2000. He had 12 top 10s and 4 poles, but also had 11 DNFs. He was either running up front with the leaders or taking an early exit. Those wins are great, but each DNF is exactly the opposite and can take a driver out of a points race real quick. Junior on the front row. Let's get rolling here at the monster. That was a good start that I had, and we got a good early lead. So let's see if we got the two perfectly. Oh, not the best. Hope we get a good run off. And we're gonna leave the first slide to get that juicy power off the corner. And um let's relax. Alright, heading off a turn two. Down the back stretch, gonna pit this time, gonna go for all four tires, nothing's really happening. And um just gonna take it easy here, go down pit road, 70 miles an hour, and here we go. A solid start. We're halfway home. And the driver here is marking the crew will go around and go to the right side first. Change right side tire. Once again, the race is still going in. The crew will now swing over to Lena Nine. This will be a four tire stop. Four tires and two cans, 76 racing fuel. Not 
bad start. Uh, in the fourth, just so it's stay on track. We got this car, should be good. Alright. We'll be on the track. Don't worry about fucking it up, so. Alright, and um. We're gonna wait until we cycle out. So it's like, we're gonna cycle out to the lead, but we'll see if we relax here. Alright, gonna cycle out to the lead, so pretty quick. So quick cycle stop, so we cycle back out to P1, and um. Got a lot of travel to deal with, but once I get back to 26, we're gonna relax. And let's do it! Because shooting to the inside because I can't get by fucking Jack Sprague who's blocking me for no reason. And now because of that, Junior's here. And we got excited about for the win. I thought it was going to be an easy win. And now because of that traffic, I might cost myself another race. Just let me by. I got the race one. There's no need for you to mess with the leader. Let me by for the love of God. Thank you, good lord! You should have to hold the leaders up when you're battling for the lead. And we got another one with Junior here. Oh, we were able to shut him off. Our uh, tires are worn. Here he comes. Oh, the tires are bad. Alright, we got one at time battle. We got four to go. It's Junior and I versus live traffic. Ah, uh, Junior's trying to block! Here we go, oh, can't get underneath him yet, but I gotta do with Jack Sprague again. Okay, let's get a good launch. Oh, jeez, fucked it up! Uh, I messed up the exit. Uh, I gotta catch him. Okay, now I'm like trying to dig me over again. I thought I got the car I could win this, but it's just... Uh, please turn! Two laps. I feel like I just cost myself this race, but I gotta nail these corners. I wanna have a shot still. Alright, I got one more lap to make it... I fucked it up! I turned way too early and I fucked it up! I got myself a second. Junior's gonna win with a self second. Well, I blame lot of traffic. Almost cost me in New Hampshire. He cost me here, so not surprised. A rare caution-free race. Woo, that doesn't happen very often. It makes you pay a whole lot more for any mistakes. You don't have the cushion of yellow flags to get caught up. The 124 car actually led the most laps. Yeah, he yep. just didn't leave the most important one, the lap mm -hmm. where the checkered flag came out. This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing, brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. So long, we'll see you next week at the Talladega Super Speedway. That cost me the race. Fucking live course. And this pretty much cost me where Jasper tried to pin me off the track for no reason when I'm the leader. So that cost me the race. And because of that, I have to sell for seconds, so. The, that goddamn zero car. I'm glad he didn't compete in the Cup Series. We kind of did, but he didn't compete in the Cup Series long enough, but... Well, me, me and Junior were the only two... Yeah, me and Junior were the only two leaders, surprisingly, so... Yeah, but unfortunately, just got to sell for second. Again. But we got good points nonetheless, so... We gained about another... Uh... 15 points. So... Not bad at all, so... Yeah, back to the race shot. Next part will be at Talladega, possibly Kansas, but probably Talladega. And uh, as far as the garage is concerned, everything's done, so we're going to overhaul what we used. And uh, nothing really changed. We're just going to overhaul the lower, the bad stuff for 
for um, Charlotte is, is after Kansas, so we'll definitely overhaul that one. So basically, overhauling every other two races, and we're over, and we're building this for one more race, which will be done by Kansas. So gonna need some good stuff for Kansas, um, but which will probably use the same set that we use in Talladega. So anyway, as far as the points, again, up by a country mile, well, 800 points, I believe it or not, and. We can probably settle it in a little bit, so that's nice. And all right, so next race is Talladega. So we'll see if we can do. We'll see if we can win there. I got a good car to run. I got a special car to run with, so hopefully we can win there. And uh, anyway, without further ado, I'll see you all in the next part of Talladega, possibly Kansas. As always, have a good day, everyone, and take care.